Hi, welcome to the wedding filmer. Come. Hi, Vishal. How's it going? How are you today? I'm good. So, what are your plans for today like? I have an edit to do, I have this to do with you, and I have six cinematographer meetings that I have to meet. Wow, that sounds like a busy day. It is. Uh, what is this beautiful logo behind you? This represents my son, it's a whirling dervish. Um, my son was born right about the time I started the wedding film and I really didn't have the money for his delivery. So I took the money from the bride and I rushed to the hospital and I paid them and that's how I began the wedding film. Oh my god, that's a great story. So where Come. were you born Vishal? I was born in Ghana, West Africa. My mom and dad lived there and I was there till I was 12 then I went to the UK to study and after that I got a call from Shah Rukh Khan to come, there's a crew up there. Um, I got a call from Shah Rukh Khan and he asked me to come to India to work on a website that he was developing and that's how I ended up here. Great. So, when was the first time you started using a camera? When I was 12, my father bought me my first JVC camera. I was a little camcorder and it had a tape in it and you would have to... I used to make family documentaries. We used to go on these little vacations and weekend holidays and the lake and the other waterfalls in Ghana. And I made these little videos and I used to have running commentary and I always wanted to be a filmmaker and I used to make these films and edit them and put titles on them and I used to get my dad to and my mom and the whole family would get together and we'd watch it. Wow, so you started young. I did. How does it feel being in front of the camera today? I'm embarrassed and it's, I'm shy. <laughs> but it's sweet. So one word that you would describe your wedding films with? Um, I'd like to believe they're inspiring, not just to cinematographers like the guy who's shooting this, um, but also to um, people who have stopped believing in love. I think there's some really nice love stories that inspire me and inspire the people who watch them and it makes them believe that someone is made for them and they will find their happy day. That's amazing. So tell us about your most memorable film that you've shot. It's always the last film that I filmed. Um, it wouldn't be the biggest and nicest and most beautiful but I think the last film that we film is always like closest to us because it's it's right there in our memories right here and we're working on it and it's really exciting. Name one individual who inspires you. I don't think there's one person per se. I think it's my whole team and all the people who've come into my life and worked with me over the past. Uh, the amount of loyalty and dedication they show to their jobs and the amount of creativity they put in is what has made us become the wedding filmer. It's not just me alone that can make these films and I think everybody who comes in, they put in a little bit of themselves to make it what it is today in terms of creativity. Um, and how big a role does social media play in your work? A huge role. When I first started The Wedding Filmer, there was only Facebook back then and that's how I began. I used to get one email a month or probably one email every two months and I had to convert that into a wedding. Now we're very popular but social media is what built our company. Great. Come let me show you around some more. What's the last movie you watched and really liked? Um, Yesterday by Danny Boyle. I think he's one of my favorite filmmakers. Another film I re-watched recently was Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. It's about somebody who wants to wipe away their memories to forget pain. Um, but even after wiping out those memories, it comes back again to him falling in love with the same person because you can't really change fate and destiny. Absolutely. What do you do in your spare time, Vishal? I like to play music. I like to write. I write a lot to my son. I like to cook. And what's the best thing that you cook? Um, fufu and palm nut soup, I think. It's an African meal, it's my mom's recipe. Come, let me take you inside. Great. Huh. What's your favorite moment of a wedding, Vishal? I think the haldi, just because of the colour, the intimacy. It's the smallest event most of the time. It's just the close family and friends. It's the bride, the groom and everyone's really happy. There's lots of good energy around. That's my favorite moment. Great. Quality or quantity? Quality, any day. I think the book says that very clearly. This so is the how edit has room. the wedding film evolved since it started? Um, it started with just me, but now there are about 35 of us here. Come, I'll show you everyone. Yeah. Come in. This is where the edit happens. And this is my mum. Hi there. Uh, we have a question for you. What's the thing that you're most proud about with Vishal? His creativity. Absolutely, we love that about him as well. And what's Vishal's biggest pet peeve? What does he get annoyed with? Oh, when people make a mistake in their heads. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, it was great meeting you. Uh, tell us about a crazy wedding experience, Vishal. So there was this one way in the beginning when I just started, there was this bride and groom who decided to give me shots after the wedding was over and we were having an after party. And they downed shots down my throat and I got really drunk. 
and I found my pants on the tree outside my room. Never happened before and never will happen again. <laughs> so what do you prefer while you're shooting a wedding? Natural or false lighting? Natural light any day. And the colours you think look great on camera? Green is one of my favourite which is why I have so many greens in my studio. Yeah, it looks absolutely beautiful. Describe your experience filming the Virushka wedding in three words. It was tiring, it was inspiring and at the end of it there was a sense of completion and gratitude that I've never felt before. And the film looks absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Can we see upstairs? Yes we can, come I'll take you. That was me when I used to work with Sharuk. So Vishal, tell us a little bit about your team. How many people work with you? We're now 35 and I'm hoping by next year end we should be 70. Great. Come in, this is the sound room. Need Akshay? Hi Akshay. Hello, how are you doing? Good. So, what is Vishal's biggest strength? <laughs> he gives me a lot of space to experiment and figure things out, which is really nice. Uh, every film is a new challenge and he gives me the support that I need to take it head strong. So, that's really nice. Thanks, man. Thank you, man. That's sweet. Cool, thanks. Come, this is the second edit room, the pressure room. Wow, so this is where your team sits? This is where my team and the sits. Magic happens. And the magic happens. Great. Uh, can we ask your team a couple of questions, Vishal? Yes, why don't you ask Neha? She built this company with me. Great. Hi, Neha. Hi. What's the best thing about working with Vishal? Um, I think the stories that we get to tell. And what are you working on right now? Uh, checking an edit for a film we shot earlier this year. Great. Thanks. Thank you. What's the next film that's coming out, Vishal? Um, there's a music video we made for Peer V2, which is the song I use in Anushka Sharma's wedding video. And there's a huge demand for it, so we're trying to make it work so that every bride can enter on it next year. Beautiful. Come. We just recently saw Pernia create his bridal entry, yes. and it was the most beautiful thing we saw on the internet this month. Was it planned? It wasn't. When I spoke to Pernia, whoa! When I spoke to Pernia, she said some really nice things to me. Um, about life and about love and when I came back I felt like it was a birthday and I needed to give her something so we quickly edited it and gave it to her. It wasn't planned to the way you saw it and you would imagine but there is a sense of blocking and there is a sense of understanding that me and my crew have. We all have walkie talkies and we all explain to each other what's going to happen. I knew the door opening for that scene would be important so I wanted to make sure that was captured beautifully. It was absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Come downstairs. Yes. So how early does a couple have to get in touch with you to book you for their wedding? Um, early enough, the earlier they get me, the sooner they'll get their wedding film because there's a waiting list in edits and in, for us as well. And because I can only do one wedding at a time, it's important to book us quickly enough so we don't get full. Yes. And uh, how approachable are you? Is it easy to get in touch with your team? And Very. I, a lot of people have this impression that we only do celebrity weddings, but the truth is I like to do the smaller, more beautiful, more intimate ones. Um, budgets are not an issue. I'd like to work around the budget of the bride and groom to be able to make the wedding film that they would want and I would be inspired making. And how long do you take to deliver a wedding film? It can be anything from two and a half months to six months depending on when we are booked. Come, should we go back inside? So yes. if you weren't a cinematographer, what would you be doing? I'd be working with an NGO in Africa or I would be a musician. Not a very good one though. Great. So, where do you see the wedding industry in the next five years, Vishal? It's already pretty saturated. I think it's going to be get harder to find the right people for your wedding. I feel like in India, there's a lot of follow me that happens. It's. I hope it gets better, and I hope um, in the professionals in the industry start being like professionals because that's really important. Ideally, what kind of a wedding would you like to shoot? The intimate, small outdoor wedding in a rainforest with Coldplay playing in the band. That sounds dreamy. Zoya Akhtar recently said that you inspired Kabir's character in Made in Heaven. How does that feel? It's always flattering to know that you've ended pop culture. <laughs> Absolutely. Any words of wisdom for aspiring wedding photo cinematographers? Um, dress well at the event. It's always nice to look the part and respect the event. Um, don't be too obtrusive when you're filming with a bride because they need that space to be real. And for God's sake, don't make anyone act on their wedding day because it becomes their memory. It should be their memory. It shouldn't be your memory of their wedding day. Who do you think is doing a phenomenal job when it comes to weddings now? Well, the wet post is one of my favorite wedding blogs now. Um, Joseph Radik takes some amazing pictures. Um, there's this girl I met the other day who does calligraphy for weddings, so it's getting really specialized. The Bombay Lettering Company, I think. 
And then the Shadi squad, who are my favorite wedding planners. There's Vandana Mohan, whose weddings are just dreamlike. And I've made some of my best films with them. So yeah, there are lots of people who I love, but these are some of my absolute favorites. Great. We love them too. Thanks. Thank you.